Hi everyone, welcome to One Minute Gradio, where I discuss some concept in Gradio in just about one minute. So today I'd like to talk about how do you chain events in Gradio. So Gradio has this concept of events that get triggered in different situations. What if you want to do something after one event completes? So let's, as an example, let's take a look at this very simple uh, Gradio application. So it has just two text boxes. And when you click on this button underneath the text boxes, the first one gets evaluated and the result gets piped to the second text box. So I can make it think of it as a little maybe calculator. I can go ahead and run this. Now, maybe after this gets run, I want to clear the first text box after this is complete. Well, what I can do is I can just add another event. So that says something like this, def clear. It doesn't take in any inputs. It just returns uh, uh, an empty string. And then what I can do is I can take this event and I can say, hey, event, after this event is done, then run clear and assign the result to this first text box. So let me run this again. I've saved this. Now if I run this, you can see after the result came, this first one is clear. And maybe you only want to do this if the first one is successful. So maybe for something like, you know, uh, plus A, this should not work. But you can see here, it ran an error, but the first one still got cleared. So if you only want to run the subsequent event when the first event completes successfully, just change then to success. And let's try running this again. So now if I do something that's invalid, it'll give me a chance to, you know, uh, to edit that. But if I do something that is valid, then it still gets run successfully. So that's it. Today we introduced the then and success events. Thanks so much for tuning in.